So welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Marie Christina. She's one in a million. And um, today we're gonna be doing a review on the new Fenty concealers and setting powders. I wanted to compare and see if you should be getting the setting powder in a lighter shade or sticking to what's suggested as the shade closest to your skin color. We're gonna be comparing the honey with the nutmeg. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like it and let's start. Let's start off by the primer. I got a smaller size. It's like a travel size. I think they just came out with this size as well. As you can see, I never used it before, so there's a little bit of air into that. Ah, okay, there we go. I don't know if we need a lot. Let's just try a little. Make sure your hands are super clean whenever you're like applying anything to your face. I have sensitive skin, so if it is not clean, I will get reactions. This is me with the primer everywhere. So that's great. Just because my hair is in the way, I'm just gonna be using these little clippies. Last month, I actually went to go pick up these matchsticks. It's the set. I'm gonna be using the cinnamon. Okay, so my face is glowing. I love it. These matchsticks are really good, and I like the fact that it's like a pink undertone highlighter instead of like the gold, because it's like, you know, it's just nice. Um, the foundation I have my color in 440. The thing that's really good about this foundation is that it's not too thick, right? It covers well, but it's not too thick. You don't feel cakey. Maybe today, after using it with the primer, it will become one of my favorites. So now we're going to do our brows. I'm just going to be using my Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So for me, it's always okay if my eyebrows are not perfect while I'm doing it now because my concealer always cleans it up. I'm really hoping that the concealer from Fenty Beauty does that. <laughs> now we're gonna go in with concealer the color I got is 390 so yes it is brighter than my complexion but that's what I want even though they do say get something closer to your complexion we're gonna try something new um, like that if you guys want to go out there and buy it you can see if it works or not compared to to the Too Faced, it is a lot less and the price is almost the same. That sucks, but let's see if it's worth it. I don't know, like, if we should be using a lot or a little. Under the eye, I'll use just a little there and see how much that does. A good thing is, if you do use this for, like, to do, like, contouring of your brows, the applicator is actually great. Cause it's small, it's like skinny enough on the sides. So I like the color. It's like a nice brown compared to like a little too white. So I don't like when it's too white. I'm gonna be taking a concealer brush. This one's from Sephora. Um, and I'm gonna be using that for my eyebrows at first just to see. Coverage seems really good. Like if you can fix these brows, then you're a good concealer. Cause these brows are always a mess. Okay, so brows are done that passed the test to correct these brows. I didn't blend it out right away, so let's see if it dried up really fast or if it's still okay. Okay, so this side I put a good amount and this side I tried to put a little to see how much we would need. I actually need a bit more on this side. It's not a little goes a long way really, I don't find, so yeah. A good advice I can give you is that once you do apply it, try blending right away because if not, you have to work a little bit harder to blend because it does dry a bit fast. Fenty Beauty recommends that we do use the concealer of the same shade of our foundation. So I should use the 440 concealer. Instead of that, I went along to use the 390. It works for me. Coverage is good. I love the color, the undertone of it. I like that it's golden, warm. I love that. Now we're going to contour our cheeks. So I'm going to be using a color from the Matchstick set. I'm going to be using the Espresso. And I just use the side of it for to try to get like a skin here aligned. And a little bit there. So it looks really good. I do have combined skin most of the time. It's probably dry. But I just find that I never realized it, but probably because I'm only using Fenty Beauty products, um, I'm realizing that they are more drier than moisturizing, which is okay, because maybe if it's too, I guess, moisturizing, you're gonna have more oil. I don't know. 
it's sitting good it's looking good it's just i'm not used to the texture yeah but that's fine that's fine it's it's looking good this is the actual test this is going to be nutmeg this is going to be on my left side and honey is going to be on my right um so for the nutmeg i'm going to be able to apply it a little bit of everywhere but for the honey i'm only going to be using it on my highlighted areas and we're just going to compare the two and see which one works best and uh which one you guys should probably buy and now i'm going to be applying it to under my eye okay great so half is going to be honey i'm trying my best here to have it like actually half so i used honey just to highlight certain areas and now we're going to be using the neck because it is a highlighted color that i use for my concealer i'm hoping that it still has the highlighting effect even though i'm using this brown powder the neck powder um but we'll see if you really need to have a lighter powder as well to highlight even though you might get a lighter concealer so that's like the real point of this test and i'm just gonna actually apply this everywhere because if indeed oh i just need a little bit of the other side <laughs> because if indeed this powder is just like a setting powder for my whole face then it should work everywhere and I'm going to be using it for on this side for anywhere I contoured because I don't have any of her eyeshadows yet. We're going to be using a matchstick for an eyeshadow base. And then I do have the Mean Money and Hustler Baby Kilowatt Highlighter Duo. So we're going to be using that as well. I'm just going to dust off under my eye because we're going to be doing the eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. Whatever you want to call it. My eyelids. My eyelids. Okay, great. So I'm just going to be using the Cinnamon. And I'm going to be using this brush right here. And just applying that everywhere so this look today is really like easy nothing crazy it's really a test for the setting powder and the concealer i'm just gonna be taking a, a smaller eyeshadow brush and i'm just gonna be putting in the color hustle baby the pinkish side i'm gonna be just applying that in the inner crease there and that's actually all that i'm gonna do i don't need anything crazy today just a simple look it's just why not so it's not eyeshadows, um, it's not for my eyeshadow palette, it's really just the highlighters that I used for my eyeshadow. I'm just going to use my NYX eyeliner, so nothing too dramatic, just simple. Um, and then I'm going to be applying some Le Flair lashes. Before we finish with the setting, I'm going to be using my Fenty Glow Lip Balm Lip Gloss. Just apply a little bit there. Okay. So I do see some creasing happening. I'm just going to brush out everything now and let's hope that me brushing it out will make this creasing stop. So um, this is the side that I used honey. Um, what I'm seeing right now is that I'm having like dry areas. This could be fixed and can be fixed with setting spray. So that's fine for now. I probably don't get this with every brand I use with setting powders. but. It can be fixed, so we'll wait for the final results. I just feel drier on this side, and this is the side that I did use the honey on. And the nut and egg, um, I don't feel as dry. I do like more the look that I'm getting from the nut and egg rather than this look. Can could be crazy. Um, it's way more natural. Before we set, I'm gonna make sure to finish this look off with some of the highlighter that I have. So I'm gonna be using the main money. I really do like this side more and this is where I used a setting powder that was closer to my skin color than that neck. So let's set this off with the setting spray and see if it helps with the hydration of my face and the whole look in general. So yeah, so Smashbox, the primer water set and refresh spray. So yeah, let's see how it looks. I did spray a lot and the reason I did that was because my face was super dry so trying to give this product a chance it's not that I was having dry skin at the moment because whenever I do wash my face I use a toner and then I use a serum um, and then I use a moisturizer and then I still use the primer um, which was a Fenty Beauty primer so the moisturizing is all there so it's not about me not moisturizing it's just the product itself wasn't as moisturizing so someone who does have dry skin or combined to dry skin applying it might feel super dry what I would buy again what I probably wouldn't matchsticks 
I would buy it again because it's super compact and um, if you're traveling, if you're on the go, it's super easy to bring around and you do get your contouring, your highlighter, as well as your concealer that highlights all in one. So yes, it's a yay for me. Would I buy the foundation again? Before it was iffy, but when I pair it with the primer, it works really well and I love the fact that it's not cakey, it's not too thick and the coverage is still there. So I would definitely buy the foundation again. The powders. Would I buy it again? For the net and neck, I actually loved what I did with my skin. I really like that it keeps my face, even though it's a setting powder, my face still feels hydrated. I definitely do suggest it. Now, trying the honey on my darker skin because I wanted a highlighting look, it wasn't my favorite. I felt really dried out. I feel like it's more visible that I'm dried out under my eye. Maybe you guys like this side a little bit more, but... I would suggest sticking with your color. I would definitely buy the neck. I would definitely suggest maybe buying your color. And for brightening, I wouldn't repurchase, but I would buy this one again. Neck is a yay for me. Honey is not a yay for me in my case. For concealers, it wasn't horrible. I love the fact that the coverage is really good. I love the applicator. I love the fact that you could use the side of the applicator and do your eyebrows or anything you would like that needs a little bit more detailing. I didn't like the fact that it dried really quickly. So if you are gonna use it, I would suggest blend it out right away. I love the color of this. I love the warm tone that it gives. So would I buy it again? It wouldn't be my first choice, but I would buy it again if I had a lot of money. Yeah. My Fenty Glow lip gloss. Definitely buy this a million times. I love it. And the highlighter um, in Hustle Baby and Mean Money. I would buy this again, yes, because on my skin, it works really good. I hope you guys like my video. I hope you guys like, share, subscribe to my channel. Um, as well, turn your notification bell on like that. When I do post videos, you guys know right away. And uh, thank you guys for taking your time to watch. Ciao. Thank you.